a bitter cold, endless ice caps, and countless waddling penguins. When we think of the frosty Antarctic today, we have a pretty accurate picture in mind. And yet, we must not forget that a lost world lies dormant deep below the eternal ice, which has finally been rediscovered. Researchers have uncovered a hidden ancient landscape in East Antarctica that has been buried under 1,500 meters of ice for millions of years, and yet it appears almost unchanged. Consequently, the area offers us an unparalleled insight into the Antarctic primeval times and takes us straight back to an era when the continent had not yet frozen over. To understand just how extreme the frosty conditions in the Antarctic really are, it helps to consider the following example. To reach the mean thickness of the Antarctic ice sheet, you would have to stack the Eiffel Tower seven times on top of each other. While the famous Parisian landmark rises 312 meters into the air, the frozen layer of eternal ice reaches an average thickness of 2160 meters. And yet, this is only half the story. In fact, the Antarctic ice sheet even reaches up to 5,000 meters in some places. Given this, it is only natural that only the highest mountain peaks manage to rise above this colossal ice sheet. But it wasn't always like this. Even though it may sound incredible today, fossil finds have shown that in the distant past, the South Pole was still a budding rainforest that served as a home to numerous dinosaurs and early birds. This only changed about 34 million years ago when the climate cooled to such an extent that the first glaciers and ice sheets formed in Antarctica. Another 20 million years later, temperatures finally dropped enough to form the extensive closed ice sheet that characterizes the continent to this day. In the same breath, however, the Antarctic's icy mantle also raises a fundamental question. What's actually underneath it? Well, because it is complicated, to say the least, to get a direct glimpse into this remote area, research into the Antarctic subsurface is still in its infancy. The corresponding subglacial topography can only be determined with the help of radar measurements, seismic data, or indirectly from the shape and movement of the ice surface. And yet these methods have already brought a number of amazing structures to light, such as a gigantic volcanic area comprising 138 fire mountains or the world's most massive gorge, which plunges a whopping 3,500 meters into the depths. Despite all this, Antarctica's underground map is still peppered with numerous gigantic white spots, especially in the east where the ice sheet is particularly thick. Stuart Jameson of Durham University in England emphasizes that the area under the East Antarctic ice sheet is even less explored than the surface of Mars. And to finally catch up with the Red Planet, Jameson's team has set out to map a 32,000 square kilometer area around the extensive coastal glaciers of Denman and Totten. And just so we're clear, that's 36 times the area of Berlin. This was made possible by a combination of radar-based technologies and satellite data on the ice surface and ice movement, and the mapping should reveal something quite astonishing. A pristine, primeval world. Because, in fact, a scenic time capsule is hidden under the kilometer-thick ice of East Antarctica, which has been surprisingly little changed by glacial erosion. More specifically, we are dealing with three highland ridges that are between 120 and 170 kilometers long and up to 85 kilometers wide. Characterized by jagged, sharp elevations, the mountainous highland plains are located at approximately 660 to 850 meters above sea level, and thus 350 to 540 meters less than millions of years ago. The ford-like valleys between the highland plains, on the other hand, are up to 200 meters below sea level. According to researchers, their ramified structures indicate that rivers were the natural architects at work here. Furthermore, the special shape suggests that the valleys were by no means formed by meltwater on the underside of the ice sheet, but much earlier. And in fact, at a time when Antarctica was still free of ice, which in turn means that the hidden world under the ice of East Antarctica gives us an unparalleled insight into the continent's primeval landscape. In terms of age, experts estimate that the area is at least 14 million years old, but probably more than 34 million years old. Apparently, the ice sheet in this place is hardly moved or changed at all in the last 14 million years. But how did Antarctica eventually turn into an oversized freezer? 
And when did this process begin? Well, Jameson's group has also addressed these exciting questions. According to the corresponding reconstruction, the first river courses in this area may have formed over 200 million years ago, and thus at a time when the Earth was still adorned by the supercontinent Gondwana. The incisions created by the flowing water were thus formed by the deep weathering in the warm and humid areas. But when Gondwana finally split apart, this was accompanied by tectonic upheavals that lifted and bulged the highland blocks. According to the experts, this must have happened before the local glaciation, and while the highland plateaus were permanently covered by ice quite early on after the onset of the Frosty Era, rivers and glaciers initially alternated in the valleys. As already mentioned, the Antarctic was finally covered by an icy blanket 14 million years ago, and for the newly discovered primeval landscape, this turned out to be a real stroke of luck, because the hidden area has only survived for so long because the East Antarctic ice sheet has not retreated here, even during the warmer episodes. These tiny pieces of amber bring the past to life. Incidentally, scientists believe that this lost world was not an isolated case, but that many more primeval landscapes could have been preserved under the Antarctic ice sheet. Consequently, these and future discoveries can help us to understand the development of the ice sheet and the underlying landscape more accurately than ever. And the next find also shows us firsthand what Antarctica looked like long before the era of humans. What was just a small mosquito in Jurassic Park, preserving the DNA of dinosaurs in the blood it had tapped, are in reality tiny amber grains that researchers have now detected in a sediment core from Antarctica. In fact, Antarctica was thought to be the only continent on which no amber has ever been found, which is all the more regrettable given that the fossilized tree resin opens a living window into the natural world of days long gone. The fact that the Antarctic Amber Gap has now finally been closed is thanks to the team led by Johan Klages from the Alfred Wegener Institute for Polar and Marine Research in Bremerhaven. Taken from the bottom of the Amundsen Sea, almost 950 meters below the ocean's surface, the sediment core was riddled with microscopically small, yellow to orange shimmering granules that are, believe it or not, 90 million years old. So here we have another unique piece of evidence from an era when the swampy, conifer-dominated Antarctic forests were still being shaken by giant primeval lizards. And the fact that the amber pieces are still in exceptionally good condition today could be due to the regular flooding at the time, which very quickly covered the tree resin and thus protected it from atmospheric influences. But that's not all. Some amber granules also contained tiny remnants of tree bark, Furthermore, the scientists found indications that the trees secreted a noticeable amount of resin, which suggests that their bark was damaged. Typically, trees stimulate resin flow to seal bark damage and create a protective barrier against insects and infections. What the experts have achieved elsewhere in the Antarctic is another milestone for climate research. The members of the Beyond Epica project recently succeeded in extracting the longest and deepest ice core ever, and with it, the oldest ice in the world. The record-breaking 2,800-meter-long core was taken from the ice cap near the Dome Sea Research Station in the East Antarctic Polar Plateau, one of the coldest places on Earth. And while the previous record was held by a core that was only 800,000 years old, the ice that has now been recovered dates back to 1.2 million years ago. This is all the more exciting for scientists because the drill core is a complete climate archive that allows continuous tracking of developments in the past. And in the best case, the XXL core could even hold the key to one of the greatest mysteries in climate history. After all, its lower layers date back to a time when the temporal sequence of the ice ages changed from 41,000 year intervals to around 100,000 year intervals for the first time. Why the ice age cycle slowed down so drastically back then is still unknown. The ancient ice will arrive at the ice laboratory in Bremerhaven in early summer, where experts will continue to uncover its secrets. And at the bottom of our video, the subscribe button is already waiting for you to click on it. Press thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss another one of our posts. See you soon.